Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember, to support our channel, please subscribe. The Heartbreaking Abuse of Mary Boleyn Mary Boleyn was the sister of Queen Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII, and Mary paved the way for the Queen to not follow in her footsteps. Mary Boleyn was the mistress of King Henry VIII, and she was known to have been a beautiful young woman who took to the king's bed with little in the way of reward. Many men would encourage their wives and daughters to captivate Henry VIII and to sleep with him, but Mary Boleyn was considered a rather tragic figure, as she would be cast aside and thrown away when the king did not want her. She was also believed to have been used by the king. But Mary herself was known for being headstrong and very devoted in what she believed was right. But what is the story of her terrible treatment? Mary Boleyn arrived in Paris with her sister, as her father had become an English ambassador to France, and the Boleyn girls would be involved with the French royal courts. Mary was rumoured to have been romantically involved with the French King Francis, and the pair may have had an affair. He called her his English mare, and said she was a very great whore, the most infamous of all, tarnishing the reputation of Mary. It was also said of Mary that Francis said also that they are committing more follies than ever in England, and are saying and printing all of the ill they can against the church, and that women pretended to have miscarried a son, not being really with child, and to keep up the deceit would allow no one to attend on her, but her sister, whom the French king knew, her in France, a great prostitute, and infamous above all. The slander continued about Mary Boleyn, and when she came to England her reputation had also come to the English court. However, Mary then married William Carey, and he was very well liked by Henry VIII. Henry attended the wedding, and he gave the couple a huge cash gift, and the wedding occurred in the Chapel Royal at Greenwich Palace. It's known that Mary Boleyn became the king's mistress following Mary's wedding. The king probably liked what he saw in Mary, and also heard about her reputation and the rumours of promiscuity. But she was now becoming a royal mistress, and was taking to the king's bed, a position which many women at court were actually jealous of. Mary was regularly summoned to the king's bedchamber during his marriage to his first wife, Catherine of Aragon. But some historians have even claimed that Henry fathered children with Mary Boleyn, and that she had the king's children. Her firstborn child was a son who she named Henry, and many believed that the king was the father, and that the child was named after him but this would have made the boy an illegitimate heir to the throne. Others have also said that Mary's daughter Catherine could have been fathered by the king, and she later would become a lady of the bedchamber to Elizabeth I, and if this was true, she would have been half-sister of the queen. But these dates of birth coincide with when it's known that Mary Boleyn was a royal mistress, and she would have slept with the king around this time. However, regarding Mary Boleyn's time as a royal mistress, many men around her gained wealth and favour for her activities inside of the bedroom. Her father got a lot of power through these liaisons and her uncle would also become the king's most senior adviser and close friend. But her father also was made a knight of the garter and the treasurer of the royal household who was in charge of the money that the court spent. There was one woman, though, who was a Boleyn, who did not benefit from Mary's antics, and that was her sister Anne, who would see what Mary was doing. Anne would realise that if she captivated the eye of the king, then she wanted power. She wanted guarantees that she would be written into the history books, and she certainly was. However, Mary Boleyn, at some point during the pregnancy of her second child, was then cast aside. The king got bored of her and he saw her pregnancy as an issue, and he did not want to carry on their relationship. And he then turned his eye to the other Boleyn, Anne. Now Anne viewed Mary's affair as a mistake with the king, and Anne would refuse to take to the king's bed until she was made a queen, and this playing hard to get would frustrate Henry VIII greatly. Henry would then, to secure Anne's hand in marriage, plunge his country into religious turmoil, and was split from Rome, and Anne was cunning, and she knew what she wanted. Anne would become queen, 
and Mary would then die in obscurity. She, following being ousted from the king's bedchamber, later met and married an Essex man named William Stafford, and he was a man considered of lower status than Mary, and this caused chaos. Mary married for love and followed her heart, but this was deemed not good enough for the sister of the queen, and the whole Boleyn family were outraged, and they banished Mary, and she would never return to court. Mary suffered financially because of this, and she begged Thomas Cromwell to speak to the king for financial help. Henry VIII did not care at all, and he was not bothered, but Anne would later pity her, and she sent some money, but they refused to allow her to come back to royal court. The sisters would not meet again, as Anne Boleyn was executed on the 19th of May 1536. There are little records that survived after Anne's execution about Mary's life, but it's believed she died on the 19th of July 1543, with a shadow of the status that she formerly had. But Mary Boleyn was a woman who was considered a royal mistress, to one of the most brutal kings to have ever ruled over England. She experienced a significant amount of derogatory comments throughout her life, but she was a woman who had very little choice, as when the king came calling for her, she could not turn it down. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.